You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a slim it break. And this, this is what is known as limit break. And that has ascended past a limit break. Or you could just call this a limit break too. What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about the poll results. Um, as you can see from the um, page, it says, Character poll results, Naruto Uzumaki, Child of Prophecy, which, it, it's no surprise, everyone knew already, we all knew Naruto was going to be the first place winner of the uh, poll. Like, that was literally zero, um, like, everyone knew, 100%. Now... Uh, we don't really they didn't give us the details on the other ones yet but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure well obviously Naruto won for the seasonal character I'm pretty sure it's this Sakura because everybody everybody was picking her right everybody's picking this Sakura and second and third place because you get three people obviously Naruto and then um, I'd probably say Casey and Minato and uh, Edo Itachi maybe I don't know. I know I know Minato is there, and then I know Naruto's first. But we're going to talk about Naruto today, because we 100% know Naruto is first place, right? So, um, let's go ahead and talk about him a little bit, right? So, Naruto, Child of Prophecy, this is, undisputed, the best under-28 unit in the game. He has been the best under-28 unit in the game ever since he's touched the game. Like, as soon... Ever since he came out, right, he's been the best under 28 unit. And then he got his limit break, and he became even better of the best under 28 unit in the game. And now he is getting enhanced even further. So, um, with that being said, what does this mean? What does it mean? Because all they said to us is he's going to get enhanced, right? That's all they say. Um... They don't specify if he's going to get a limit break. Again, they don't specify if they're just going to uh, buff his stats. They don't say anything, right? So I want to go over his stats and stuff like that a little bit. And then we'll talk about what I think they might do or whatever the case may be, right? So um, starting at, at level 100, he had 1,474 uh, HP, 1,400 attack, right? Um, we're not talking about PvP because... Like, PvP is cool and all, but whatever. Um, field and Buddy skill, reduce Wisdom Damage 20 to 25. Reduce Wisdom Damage 30. His Field and Buddy are insane. And the sim this is why they're insane, right? Besides the fact that he is a Bravery unit with Wisdom Reduction on its Field and Buddy, and he's mid-range, so it's pretty decent. Besides that, right, he is also under 28. Now, if you, you know, if you don't know, under 28 un um, objectives consist of bravery or wisdom units that's it you'll never see under 28 under a like heart rate or a skill rate or a body rate because those are the three objectives there but on a wisdom or bravery raid um you have under 28 as the five pearl objective and that's where this comes into play because under 28 units are not as good um as regular units for the most part right under 28 units are not near as good um as regular units most of the units that are insanely broken and op cannot go under 28 and that's for good cause they don't want you to easily beat these missions right so the wisdom damage is really good sync with bravery even more wisdom reduction so that's even more good sync with skill i mean hidden leaf boost attack by 100 200 that's insanely good also so far this this naruto is like really good dude going on to abilities ignore barrier that's really good Attack boost, get your attack boosted by 100. Increase ninjutsu and jujutsu and ult by two multiplier. Boost attack, changes area of effect uh, to AOE on his ult. So pretty much his attack stat would be 1720. Then his attack stat, his HP would be 1774, and that's level 100. Going on to max, uh, like max, 
he has a 2200 attack stat as a under 28 unit mid range his hp goes to 2200 also which is like as a under 28 unit he start first off his, his cost starts at 38 number one number two he's been in the granny cat shop and you could buy him with granny cat coins like three times He's been in there three different times. So technically, you could have, right, if you if you never summoned the Naruto, you could have three Max Duke Naruto's right now. If you bought all of him from the Granny Cat Shop each time. You could have three of them. Now, that's on top of the fact you could have pulled him. On top of the fact you could have pulled on his banner. On top of all of these other things. So, that makes him insanely good there. Um, my Naruto's under 28, and I love it. One of the best units I I've ever, like, he is so good. Uh, going on to his jutsus. Four times attack to one enemy in range. Knocks him back. 80% chance of attack reduction for four turns. Four chakra. Eight chakra. Uh, 12 times attack to one wisdom elemental enemy in range. Knocks him back. Ten, ten times attack to all other elemental enemies in range. And knocks him back. Uh, this is also going to be AoE with your last ability. Which is really, really good also. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video. The question is. What are they going to do to enhance him? Now, I want to talk about his multipliers first. Uh, back whenever they were talking about one Tilt Naruto um, and all those units getting limit breaks, I was saying, what if they don't limit break them? What if they just increase their multipliers? Because the main point in case of them being outdated is multipliers. Multipliers is what makes the unit outdated. Okay, the unit can have a 13, 14, 1500 attack stat, but if your multiplier is 30 times multiplier, then you're not outdated, you're fine. Which, we actually have a unit in the game that has a 30 times multiplier. Uh, so, you know, that's that's what I'm talking about. But as far as his um, Jutsus, what if they increase the multiplier by, I don't know, 3, right? What if they just increase the multiplier by 3? What if they increase that multiplier by 3? It'll give him, because like right now, He's around, he has a um, 22, max limit break, max duped. He has a 2200 attack stat, right? So 2200 times four, that's um, what? 8,800, something like that, right? Here, let me get my calculator out because I don't want to be wrong. I try to hit y'all with some quick maths, but I, my OCD kicking in, I don't want to be wrong. But yeah, so like pretty much, he's going to have a really high attack, I mean, if they increase his multiplier, He's going to be that much better, right? Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 8,800. I was right. Anyway, so yeah, um, 8,800 is what his damage is on his first Jutsu. Max Duke, neutral damage, right? Uh, there's a lot of units in the game that are hitting for double that on their first Jutsu. Like, um, obviously... I'm comparing him to a Blazing Fest unit, but Killer B's Jutsu, Max Duped, Max Limit Broken, now does like 23,000 damage or something stupid, right? Um, even even units that aren't Blazing Fest, right? They, they, they're doing a lot more than 8,000. So to easily up that, they can just increase the multiplier. So let's say they change the multiplier to 7. He's going to be doing 15,400 damage, all right? Same thing with his ult. If they um, change the ult from 12, which gives you 26,400, if they change that to 15, it's going to be 33,000 damage. Um, I think that might be what they're doing. Now, obviously, they could just give him a limit break beyond the limit break, which would be called limit break 2. I kind of made a joke in Discord with Mystic, like Super Saiyan, beyond the Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 type deal. But yeah, um, I, I think that that is something they could definitely do. As far as making him better. Now, obviously, it's just speculation. I don't know. So, um, yeah. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell us you guys think the comment below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. By the way, guys, I wanted to let you guys know that anniversary for JP is tonight, boys. It's time. We... We're here, man. I just... I don't even know what to say. I'm really excited. Uh, we have zero days... Um, it's tonight after maintenance anniversary is here So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I'm gonna be bringing you all the news all the events everything you need to know so um, I just want to let you guys know that so with that being said uh, peace